Hi, this is Melissa with A Creative Journey with Melissa, and today I'm going to show you how to use some Christmas paper and repurpose it for a birthday card. I really love this Christmas paper, and I checked to make sure there wasn't any Christmas phrases on it, and um, it doesn't appear to be. There's some script on it, but that's okay, and I just love it. I think it's so pretty, and I really loved the, um, actually masculine, um, I really loved the, um, the design, I love the color palette, so I thought it would be perfect for a masculine birthday card, and I thought, ooh, why not? Change it up a little bit. And this, again, is a great way to show you how to utilize your scraps for something different than what you may normally use them for. So with that, um, I'm going to show you what we're making, but first I'm going to put all this stuff away. This is all the, actually, I'm not gonna put this stuff away, I'm gonna tell you what you need. Oh, it's one of those days, right? So you need a card base. I used craft paper, and uh, you also are going to need a, um, a piece of craft paper to punch out. You'll need some um, decorative paper for your um, card mat. We have a punch, of course. We have um, some cool scissors. We have our adhesive. We have an awesome stamp block. We have our corner rounder, and we have some dark brown or brown ink. And of course, we have our fantastic stamp set here. Now this stamp set is really versatile for a number of reasons, but um, you can use it to celebrate really anything. Because um, basically if you get a new job, if you have a new baby, you anything it is, you anything you have to celebrate, whatever the the excitement is. Um, you can use it. You can do make a wish, happy birthday, celebrate. Celebrate could be for a new baby, could be for a job promotion, could be for a move, whatever it is. You have a cake, it could be for anniversary. There's a whole bunch of different really great things you can do with this set and that's what we're going to show you to what we're what you can do. You can use it for a birthday and use it for a masculine card today. But it has of course other uses for it too. You can use the candles for Hanukkah if you wish too. Trying to make some stamp sets that are versatile so you can use them for a number of different reasons so you can save money so we can spend more money on what? Say it out loud. Crafts! Woohoo! Anyway, <laughs> um, that's crafts. C-R-A-F-T-S, just to be clear in case you did not hear me properly. <laughs> um, anyway, so this is the awesome stamp set that we have. Again, like I said, it's birthday wishes, and there's a lot of great things you can do with it, and there's a lot of great things. There's sentiments and balloons and all that fun stuff. So we're going to go ahead and set this aside. Um, you have your corner rounder, you'll have your ink, you'll have, um, like I said, the paper, you're going to need some off-white twine to match this color palette, scissors, your adhesive, your block, and of course your punch. So what I want to show you now is what we are making. So we're making this really cool card. It's cute, handsome, simple, but I think whoever's going to get it, which I already know who it is, is going to love it. Um, this is the happy birthday card. So I'm gonna do it a little bit different in the example I show you, just because I like to change it up, just to show you some different ideas on what you can do. So this is a birthday card. Again, this is the Christmas paper, and as I look at it, I put the paper with the writing upside down. Sometimes you do that, people. Do you think I'm gonna send it? Absolutely, because most people don't pay attention to that except me, you know, when I'm doing a video and people should have it looking the right way, but we won't get into that right now. Anyhow, so here is your birthday card. I really love the way that this came out. We're going to be using the happy birthday sentiment from our birthday wishes stamp set. And let's get started. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to take out the card base, the paper, and the corner rounder, and the adhesive, okay? So we're gonna take those things out. Now, what I'm gonna do is, I don't know if you noticed, but here in the actual card that I created, I used the corner rounder on two sides right here, okay? So that's what I did. Uh, I'm gonna change it up a little bit and just do it down here, and I'll show you why in a second. So we're just gonna take our corner rounder. I'm gonna to try to hide my Band-Aid finger. <laughs> um, and we're gonna just round the bottom here and the bottom there. Now, the other thing I wanted to show you too, before I forget, is this card does not open up the traditional way, it opens up, okay? So it's a, a card that opens like this, not the normal like book way. So I wanted to change it up a little bit, that's why I did that. 
I also want to uh, change the design a little bit just because I want to give you some other ideas on what you can do with this cool card and cool layout. So we're going to take some adhesive and this is the end of an A for Santa. I told you it was Christmas paper. We're going to just go like this, like so, and we're going to place this right towards the right side a little bit. Like so. Try to make that a little bit more even. All right. Now these are really gonna turn out to be two pretty different cards, but again, I wanna show you how you can make different things with this. So we're gonna take out our scissors and we're just gonna cut a little V right here. Just like this and like that and you're gonna pop that part out. Hopefully it'll come out without any issue. So this is what you're doing. You just cut out like a little diamond. You cut it at the, at the uh, half part, and then when you open it up, it looks like a diamond, okay? So you're gonna do that. And then the next thing you're going to do is you're gonna go ahead and take the twine, and you're going to feed it through so it's gonna be going vertically not horizontally, like we do in this card. This way it's horizontal, this way it's vertical. If you ever forget how to, what, whether it's vertical or horizontal, because for a long time I did when I was younger, now I just use the horizon, horizon, <laughs> vertical, vertical blinds, right? See, makes it easy. <laughs> I need to have things like that or else I forget a lot. So we're just going to pull this through like so, and we're gonna wrap it back up and around one more time, like so. And we're just gonna tie it right here. Oops, and just a little knot. Whoopsie, it keeps wanting to fall off. So I'm gonna over exaggerate and put it way over there for now. Just do a little knot towards the bottom over here. like so, and we'll make that tight like that, and we'll scoot it over so it's more in the end. And then I'm gonna take my scissors and I'm gonna trim off that excess like so. Don't need a big piece there, looks good without it. We're just using this for a little bit of texture and dimension. And I like to fix the strings so they look more even on this one. This one, they're kind of mishmash, if you can tell. But here, it's just a little bit more clean and straight lines, okay? So we're going to do that. And then we're going to take our paper. We're going to take our stamps and our stamp block. And we're just going to take off Happy Birthday. And if you're not familiar with photopolymer stamps, they are sticky by design. So they will stick to your acrylic block. If for some reason they do not, it could be one of a few things. One, it could be that they're not photopolymer and they are made of something else, maybe overseas that doesn't like to stick, which happens. Um, two, they could be made of photopolymer and they're dirty. So you just take some warm water and soap and you wash them right off. Or three, um, I don't know what the three would be. I actually had it a minute ago, and just like that, I don't remember. Um, there we go. Okay, so we're just putting on our stamp block, a stamp on our stamp block, like so. Okay, and now we're going to take out our ink. Um, oh, the third thing I just remembered. See, <laughs> got a little distracted on myself. Um, the third thing would be if you might have some ink or something underneath where it adheres, or you might have some fuzz, you want to clean them off. I did say clean them, but not just to clean them because they might have some oil on them, but clean them because you might have some debris on them too. So that is a good thing to do. Now, if you've watched any of my videos before, you know I like to make a few extras because we always have other situations where we need to make cards or things, so I like to stamp a few extras. So that's what I'm doing right now. I'm just going to make a few extras here, and then one right here. All right, so I'm going to wipe that off, close up that ink, 
and I wiped off the ink and then I'm just going to place it back right on the sheet that it came on. I like to store my um, stamps like this because it's um, very helpful, I think, to do that. And where is it? Here we go. I, just, I keep mine in my envelope like so and just throw them in. So with that, we're going to take out our punch. This is a different kind of punch, meaning that it's a different shape than people are usually used to. I really liked it, and I thought that would be kind of a cool thing to use, so that's what I'm using. Now when I do my stamps, or I'm sorry, when I do my punches, I always do it upside down just so I can make sure I know where I'm looking. So we're just going to do this one for now. Make sure it's centered where I want it to be centered. Looks good. Now this one may not work out too well. Oh, no. I think we're good. I'm going to turn it a little like that. Try to utilize my paper as best I can, like so. And then we have like so. And I think I might not be able to do, oh, no, that's another reason why I like to do it upside down like this, because then I can totally utilize my paper as best I can. And then that piece of paper turns into almost nothing. So, Yahoo! So anyway, um, especially with birthdays, um, sentiments like that, that you know you're going to um, utilize over and over again, you're going to want to make sure that you uh, do have enough uh, sentiments on the side, just you know, so you can keep them um, around, because you know that you'll end up having to do some type of card at some point on, a, on the fly. So um, what I did was I forgot to tell you to, that you're going to need some um, 3D foam. So you want to make sure you have some 3D foam. Um, and so I'm going to just pull this little piece off of the backing here. And then we're going to just put this simple little sentiment like so. And that is your card. Now you can do, you could have done this string a little bit more discombobulated there so it's a little bit more um, non-clean lined. I can't think of the word, sorry. <laughs> um, but uh, I decided to do the clean line on that side and the non-clean line like on this side just because I thought, ah, why not? Shows you a little bit of difference, right? That would be kind of neat. Um, so I really appreciate you joining me today. Um, one thing that I really want you to think about, make sure that people treat you kindly and make sure that you know your worth and that you don't ever sell yourself short. People should be treating people kindly and respectfully and if they don't, maybe you need to reevaluate uh, why you feel that you should be treated that way. Just a little lesson for the week. Anyway, I hope you have a fantastic day. Thank you so much for joining me. And I hope you enjoyed the creativity today. And if you have any great ideas or any ideas or any questions or any thoughts or anything that you'd like to see done, please let me know. I would love to hear about it and I would love to try to help you out. And. I am going to make sure that you also know that if you want to get this fantastic stamp set along with any others that we carry, we have sign language awareness ribbon, um, including autism awareness, breast cancer, cancer, um, any awareness cause. We have a, a stamp set that can really use, be utilized for any awareness cause. Check out our website at www.acreativejourneywithmelissa.com or www.acjwm.com. Thank you so much for joining us today, and I hope you enjoyed going on a creative journey with Melissa. Have a great day. Thanks. Bye.